Hello, friends. I got something very excited I want to share with you today. And this is something that is called and that is part of the next culture economy. And it's something that is called the loom. And in Spanish, it's called telar. And it's also called dream weaving. And I'm going to show you in this video uh, what it is and why I, I am so excited about sharing this with others. <clears throat> so I'll be making a drawing here as I explain it. It's um, so it based, it's based on the elements. So here the, we, uh, we're gonna have different colors and um, the centric element is gonna be the water. And it's basically a structure that goes like this. The water is right in the middle. And it's follow the water is the, the receiving element and it's supported by two earths. So there is one earth, two earths. These two words, they can be seen as the as the as the the earths that support the water and the, the whole structure of the loom. Uh, so in this video, we'll be uh, I'll be developing what it is and like developing a little bit of the language so that we can go into the 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 action part and why like why are the applicable terms the applicable uh, forms of, of this technology and in the in the middle we have a centric element that is called the water and it, she is supported by two earths if you see it as a seed this will be the seed and this will be the the shoot and this will be the roots so one shoot one roots then we have the next element which will be the the wind of or the air and each earth has two winds. So we'll start here at the top and we'll paint the winds. Two winds per earth and two winds per earth down here. And this is the basic structure of the loom. Uh, once this is here, all this is needing is the, the fires that go around it. And in the in for the structure of the loom, each air, each one of these airs have two fires. So I'm gonna paint them now. And we're gonna start with the fire, sharing what is the role of the fire. For the fire is sort of what keeps it keeps it all moving. It keeps it the transformation happening. Once all of these fires are here, a transformation happens in this structure. So I'm I'm gonna share what happens uh, just before just before this structure, and I can actually use an example of uh, where I am right now uh, in one of the the looms where I want to participate. Um, there is let's say there is seven fires instead of eight. And this structure is just waiting for one more fire to join into, into the loom so that the transformation can happen. And, and the, I'll start with the fire. The fire is the, uh, the, there is a monetary aspect to this. There is a financial aspect to this, which is the, the gift that is called the gift that the, that the fires bring into the loom. When a fire a fire brings uh, the passion, it brings uh, the fire, the energy into the loom. Uh, so you can imagine each one of these dots is a, a person in the loom. So it will be uh, uh, 15 people, 15 people structure. See one, one water, two earths, that's three people. Then four, four winds, that'll be seven people. And then eight fires, and that'll be 14. 
seven, 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it will be 15 people inside of the structure of the loom. And, and what happens is that when all of the fires, each one of these fires, it brings in a gift. And that gift, it, it, it's in the monetary form. Uh, so it can be any any, com, any kind of amount. Uh, each loom has its own defined amount. And, and we can say, for example, to use a, a simple, um, a simple a simple currency we can say a, a token let's say a hundred tokens each one of each one of the fires brings a hundred tokens just to not use the the dollar sign because or euros because they're they are they they're so foreign and they're overused a lot so we can use tokens for for this example so it will be a hundred tokens Although like the most of the looms that are being played right now, they, they use dollars or they use euros, they use the local currency uh, at place. It's a, it's a transitional currency from going from next culture, from modern culture that uses the monetary as a value, money as a value, to next culture that uses money as a transitional value then uh, these, these currencies like dollar and euros, they can be used for, for these experiments, for this uh, technology. So if we say that the fire will be bringing uh, 100, 100 tokens each, then it, when the eight fires complete, there's gonna be 800 tokens that get accumulated in the, in the loom. And they want, the gift is for the water. All of those gifts they go directly to the water. So each one of the each one of these colors, each one of these elements has a role, and the role of the fire is to bring in that gift. So in my case, in being this fire here that is missing, uh, it will be my role to bring in that that gift. And once uh, I bring in that gift and it gets completed, then there is a transformation that happens in this in this telar well it's called telar in spanish it's called loom and many other names in english uh, it's called the 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 flower of abundance something like something like this the flower of abundance and and and, and one thing that I want to share right now is that there is a difference between this and pyramid, uh, pyramid, pyramid, pyramid um, economic structures. There is a, the pyramid economic structure that that, got, that is illegal and forbidden. This is not nothing like it. Uh, it is an economic, an economic system, an economic technology, but it, it is not uh, something that is. Uh, like a pyramid, it doesn't get accumulated uh, for for a long, 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 long time. It's very, very short. This structure, once these eight fires they complete, the the structure dissipates and it changes into a different structure, which I, I'm I'm gonna show. So the eight fires they bring in their their gift, and it gets passed down to the water, and the water receives those gifts, and that's the that's the role of the water receiving she's in the receiving aspect the fire is giving the water is in the receiving aspect and and she's receiving with the purpose of of dreaming she's a, the dreamer she's dreaming and the fires are supporting her dream the fires are bringing in that that fire for her for her the water to uh, fulfill her dreams and to feel the ultimate support from all the network, from all this structure. All of this structure is pretty much supporting the water and supporting the dream of the water. <laughs> Here on the next la layer, we have the winds. And the role of the winds is of communication. If you can see that the air, the wind, they communicate. And their main role is to attract the fires. They attract two fires. 
they call to fires, they promote and they, they attract. They say, we are making this amazing uh, experiment. We're making, we're working with this amazing technology of gifting based economy that is not, is not based on a hierarchy and like fighting and accumulating money over time and years and years and is something that is way more organic and and is role based is something that is based on on your gift on on what you're passionate about on what you want to do and this is the role of the winds is to communicate that with the outside world they become this loom that is attracting the fires and attracting attracting those fires that want to participate in a, in this in this uh, group group work and they are also internally, they help the communication internally. They, they welcome the fires when the fires join, they say welcome fire and they tell the fires uh, when, when they're gonna be meeting, for example, or how, how is the, the dynamics inside of the, the group, inside of the, the loom. So this one here you will call, it will be called a loom. So this will be a loom. So this here will be a loom and you will be part of a loom team. This will be your loom. Whenever you join it, this will be your loom. And this is the, the loom technology, what I'm explaining. And the the air, the air or the winds, the, their job, their work is to, or their role is to communicate in, in within, to keep communicating the role of the water. What is the dream of the water? What is the, the water dreaming? What is the water needing? what is the, the message of the water and they they communicate inside so they can become that message and attract the fires and communicate outside uh, uh, for example in the loom that i want to join right now there is a, a water right in, in the middle and she's a mother uh, she's in a in a farm and her dream is of creating a, a school a nature school and also um a holistic farm, a, a, an earth-based earth farm, a, 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 a far, it's not a farm, it's a, a land. It's a community and a group of people that are aligned with, with the earth and they want to bring in this abundance of, of money to be able to, to create and to bring to manifestation their, their school, their nature school. And I believe they are located in, somewhere in the States. So, this is a the, the the loom where I'm wanting to join is an international loom. There is somebody on the uh, the person that 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 brought me in. She's in in in, Meg, in Peru. So so once once I will join, she will be moving down, and, and I'll I'll explain that later. And and so the the role of the water. That person that's in the water, she's uh, she's somewhere in the states, and and once she's very close to receiving, I feel like uh, I will be like the last the last fire. If I come in, the the cycle will be complete. She will receive the money, and we'll go into the next process of transformation, which I'll explain to right after. On the next level, on the next layer, we have the 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 earths, the two earths that are positioned down here. And these two words per loom, and they are the support. Their role, the role is of supporting, and, and these are roles that you embody when you're in the loom. You embody that support for for your group. You become the the earth, the support, the nourisher. Uh, you become that that ground, that platform that that is holding the the structure of of the loom, and each one each one of these colors has a, a role and. The role of the earth is to be that, that ground support that creates the platform for the water to flow, right? Like a mountain, like a creek, like a cave. And these waters, they become, the, these earths, they become that, that ground for the water to flow. And also for the other elements to exist and to have that, that physicality to it. And there is two earths per, Per loom, and 
And lastly, is the, is the water. And the water is the receiver. She's the, the receiver of the, of the gift. And once, once she receives all of the gifts, when all of the eight fires complete, she gets released out of the loom. She receives the money. Uh, there is a process of, of releasing that I am yet to experience, that I, I will experience it for the first time if I join this. Um, and this is like what I'm very excited about too. I want to see, I want to experience and witness that process to, to go through, to go through it and see and see what it's like and see more of the the practical applications of this and how it can really be applied to so many uh, other things and in our in our local community as well. And so I'll I'll explain what happens here. This this water once let's point it here. This water gets released. The eight fires get complete. She receives a hundred tokens. And she gets released. Let's say she goes in, into the eater. She doesn't have any more responsibility inside of the loom. She's free to uh, uh, get the, her, her gift and go do her, her work, go do her dream, follow her dream. And what happens next is that each one of the elements is gonna go through a transformation that is very, very awesome. Because the two earths that were here, they're gonna split. They're gonna split, and each one of them is gonna come to form uh, the next water. So the earth, they're gonna transform into water, and they're gonna form two different looms. They're gonna become the center of two different looms. So I will make one here. And I'm gonna make the other one down here. So this will be the these earths, they went and they became these waters. This earth went and became that water. <clears throat> the winds, the winds that were here, winds, the four winds, they're gonna go and split into one of these two of these two uh, looms. And they will come to be become from wind. They're gonna become earth. And so the the winds they come to be on this position. One, two, three, and four. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can probably see what's happening now. The the fires, the ones that were red here. They're gonna go and for this next transformation, all of the eight fires, they're gonna become the new winds. And they're gonna split four in this one and four in this one. So I'm gonna draw it here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's up, Jeannie? Chito. Chito. Thanks, love. See you later. Yeah, so each one of the fires, they're gonna become part of this next, uh, for, they're gonna become wind. So there is a transformation from fire to wind, from wind to earth, and from earth to water, right? And they are left in this basic, basic structure. This is the basic structure. There is nobody else, like they've all been here. And now the role of the new winds these winds that were the fires before is to call in two new fires to come into this. And this can this is where I, where I've been 
and this is a, a, a process that can take uh, some time for some people depending on how how close you feel with this and your network and your finances and the people that that are close to you and and i feel at first is that um uh, what do you say like the that that uh, the curve like is the curve of learning like how long it takes for the person to learn about this system and how to find other people that are acquainted with this system some people they're already acquainted with this and all you gotta say is hey i'm i'm participating in a loom that is uh, one thousand dollars um do you want to be a fire in it and because they already know how it all works they can say yeah or no or they can ask more questions where is the water what is the dream of the water or they can ask uh, what is the purpose of the water or they can ask is it international is it local they can ask uh, other questions about it but if we, if we're if you're just getting acquainted with this then it takes that like learning curve of understanding it like digesting it understanding a bit the, the different roles and and how the, the process changes <clears throat> But for these for these guys here, they will be bare bare naked. There will be looms without a fire, and their role will be now to find the eight fires for each one of them. So in here, the the water the water gets released into the eater. She goes with the eight hundred tokens, and she's free to go and do what she wants with it. Uh, ideally, what happens uh, for the the people that are committed to weaving to weaving or committed to the loom, they go and they reinvest. They reinvest into uh, one of the, the following, into the following looms because they, they want to continue it. They want to continue the, the weaving of it. So from these 800 tokens, they will take 100 and they will invest it in, a, in another one. And so they will keep continuing the cycle. Um, so let's say the uh, let's say that these winds they already started doing their work and they they found two fires on one fire two fires three fires four fires and then these guys down here too they found one fire two fires three fires and then four fires once that completes it, this loom is now complete and it goes on to the to the same process that I just explained. The water goes and gets released into the eater with the 800 tokens, the, the gifts that were given by the fires. And again, the, the, the people that were in the earth position, they go and split and they make each each of them, they make two new two new looms. So I guess I guess I could draw it in a way like this so as you as you can see it is something that it keeps growing it, ke it keeps growing in a way that is uh, exponential and and at the same time it can be cyclical it can be a spiral as a, as something i can show you so i'm gonna just draw them a little bit smaller and here I'm gonna draw these guys here too, imagining that this one get com gets completed too. And uh, I made a, a lot of these little circles before in trying to understand this. And, and it keeps it keeps growing in, in this way. And this person that goes release into the eater, they're, they're able to like jump back in and and continue uh, reinvesting reinvesting what they got so my my excitement about sharing this is that 
I, I've been waiting for a while. I've been uh, studying this and I even made a, uh, an idea of a website that can keep, keep track of all of these things and can, like, can show it in a, in a visual way. I don't think there is a tool for doing that uh, right now. And just recently I was contacted by someone that offered me the possibility to go and participate into, into a loom. And I was immediately like very, very excited about it. Uh, and I, I went into one of the meetings and in the meeting, I actually went to two of the meetings and there is people from all over the world. I got to meet the water. I got to meet the two earths. I got to meet a few of the winds and a few of the fires actually. And they are, the, the water, she had, she had been water many times. She, she wasn't able to count them. And there, there has been other, other looms where it gets, the problem is that it gets stagnant. They're not able to find the fire. So it gets like stuck for a long time and it gets, it gets to the point where people start like falling out and like the elements start falling out because there is no, no flow. Uh, and in a healthy, in a healthy next culture economy, this this wouldn't it wouldn't happen. I mean, it will happen, and it will be clear why why that why that is happening. And there is also elders that are master master weavers or master dream weavers that they 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 probably have insight into all of this, and and they can guide the water and the other elements to, to show them or to give feedback about, about their stance. How are they standing? How are they holding on their role inside of the loom? And this is all, it all comes down to how, how you're holding on the role inside of the loom and how the other people are holding on their role inside of the loom. For this loom that I'm holding is, is very powerful magic. It feels like magic. It feels like, something attractive that it is trusting, is trusting that the, the resources are gonna come and trusting that there is people out there that are excited about this, people out there that want to participate. <clears throat> and I imagine when this becomes more common, common knowledge of this is how we do, this is how we do economy or one of the ways that we do economy, we can see, do you wanna play a loom? And people will say, yeah, uh, right here, I either have a, a, an extra amount of economy or I have um, a, a way of providing that value, a way of providing that gift that, as, as a fire. I say, yeah, I want to, I want to support this and I, I want to bring in that, that gift uh, to the water. So right now it's, it's with money, but in the future as, as the values, the values change and the, the, our perception of money changes from no, no, not, not putting value in money, but putting value in, in other things that are actually more valuable. Then, then this, the, the working of the fire, the gift of the fires, they, they're gonna change as well. <clears throat> and, and so the, this is also, it, this may seem, if you see it only on the physical aspect of it, that you're just giving the money and then that's it. Um, or if you see it as a form of work, like it doesn't work like that. It, this is a pretty much a elemental initiation. This is a, a natural school of alchemy. By going into this uh, work with, with groups and with a team, you are participating in an alchemical experiment where you get to be an element, an alchemy element, and you get to go through different transformations from inside of, inside of this work group. As you go through the different stages, for example, here you start as a fire, but in the next stage, you will be the wind, you will be rolling, calling, calling in the, the fires. And in the next stage, down here, you will be coming, becoming an earth. So you'll be the supporter, the one that's supporting the, the structure and the one that's been there already for two generations. And the one that's providing the support for the water and for the other elements to, to bond. 
and and then finally after after this after this uh, stage you will be the water and you will be in the place of receiving and you will be i'm not sure where uh, but you will be receiving the the money from the fires the gifts from the eight fires that come in and it will be your your role to to stand as a water flowing standing in your dream standing in your cycles cycles of evaporation and then coming into precipitation then flowing down to the ocean then again uh, evaporation and traveling precipitation then traveling in this way and uh, standing in your water in the water too is the the tears the sadness the sadness that that brings brings things together and that is the lower is the softness so also each one of these elements they are connected they can be connected with uh, the emotions for example fire uh, or the the four i would say the four core emotions the the uh, in the distinctions of possibility management work so the, the four core emotions being anger fear sadness and joy and in this case will be fire will be the the anger the wind will be the joy air will be the joy the lightness the lightness the joy earth will be the fear the coldness the fear the, the realness the hazards the physicality and water will be the sadness the tears the, the softness the lover the flowing and so each one of these looms, each one of these cycles is um, initiation inside of one of those elements for for your for your experience inside of this loom. For me, if I join this, uh, I'll be the fire. I'll be bringing my my anger and my rage to create the the fire needed in that in in this loom to create what the to support the water and to support the, the structure of this loom. And that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be raging at them and that I'm gonna bring my rage to them and I'm gonna be angry at them. No, it's, it's gonna be my 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 conscious anger, my, my self-standing anger. So this will be what I am rageous about, what I am raging about. Um, in my case, I, I, I can be raging about the uh, the injustice that is happening in in the world the the cutting of trees the senselessness that is happening the the rape rape culture and the patriarch patriarch modern culture that is destroying the earth and my rage for for these things my rage for what I what I'm standing for, what I'm here, what I'm born for, what I'm choosing to be here for. And I, I can use my conscious rage, my conscious fire for that. What's my fire? What's my fire that keeps me going? <clears throat> and and bringing that that will be the energy of the, the fire. And then once once I, I bring that and I'm standing in that in that role in, in my loom then the the transformation happens and the the uh, the elements they all go through an explosion transformative process the fire it becomes air so it becomes a wind and in that case uh, it goes from that fire of like ah, ah or like fire like ah to the wind so there is communication flowing joy i want to share about this this is magical i want to share it with everyone that i want to like bring other people into this so they can also uh, use their conscious anger to 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 help this creation so they can participate uh, and be an uh, alchemist and like go into uh, alchemist training so these are these are these are each loom is an al alchemist training program where you get to where you get to go through these processes yourself like it's not like you're reading it in a book it's not like you are uh, seeing it in a, in a youtube video or or that you are just hearing somebody talking about it 
It's like you are going through that process. You have, and the success of the loom, it depends on your standing inside of your element. And if you, if this is, if you see the, if you see the, the working of each one of the elements, this is nothing that is foreign to you. This is something that is actually part of, part of, part of who you are, part of your elements and part of the elements that, that, uh, that, are, that, that are in your body. Like inside of your body, you have water. Inside of your body, you have material, you matter, you have a, a earth. Inside of your body, you have wind, you have, you have breathing, you are breathing. And, and inside of your body, you have electricity, you have fire, you have the energy, that chi, that chi. And in here in the stomach, they have that, those acidic juices like working and creating fire. And also the neuron, neurons and energy traveling all across the body, that's fire, you know? And so all of these, they're already part of your experience. And the, this alchemy school is part of uh, working, being in that experience, standing, standing in your fire and channeling that fire for the, for the benefit of the group, for the benefit of, of holding that space. And then once you go through the first transformation, you go through initiation. The first one is fire initiation, your conscious anger initiation. You get initiated into what you're raging about, what you are here for, what, what you are alive, what you're choosing to be alive for. And after that transformation, you go into a, a place where you have served your role in that, and you are open and you are ready to go into the next, into the next phase, which is the your win, which is um, sort of what I'm doing right now. This is the the win is the communication, is the, the one that's able to communicate what is happening, in, in uh, and how to attract. How, how does this work and how to attract others? How do you direct them to the resources that they need to see for them to see, for them to like, like light on fire and say, here is my gift. Uh, I want to participate in this. I want to uh, practice my alchemy. I want to learn alchemy. I want to learn my fire. I want to learn about my anger. I want to learn about my joy, about how to be my joy and, and channel and and communicate communicate the the joy of being alive the joy of being part of of a, of an extraordinary group the part of the joy of being a, part of a next culture economy experiment the part the joy of being a part of a, other people that are playing different roles the part the joy of being a part of a a team so all of, all of these things that is the, the role of the, the air and how, how they can communicate it and bring it to the, their own creative aspects to, to communicate that. And after, after the win, uh, me as a win, like if I go from here to the win, as a win now, I will be uh, calling in two fires. I'll say, fires come, fires come, bring your gifts, bring your gifts. And they will be bringing their gifts. Once I got completed, once two fires join, they come and they, uh, that fire, that, that gift gets, gets sent to the water. And once all of the eight fires complete in, in, my, in my, my loom, then another transformation happens. I was that joy. I was the, that joy of uh, being part of the team. And now I go on a transformation of being the earth. And in being the earth is a new cycle. It's a new initiation. This, is, this will be my initiation as a wind, as the air, as my joy. And now I go to the next, next phase, which will be my phase as, a, as, a, as the earth. And the earth with the emotions is connected with the fear. So I will be connecting with my fear 
to hold things together, to keep an eye on the hazards, on anything that could bring a hazard, anything that brings brings the you know the grounding. What what is going to ground this airy airy energy, the energy that is like all fluffy and up in the air? What, like there is a grounding. What is the material? How does this matter? How does this matter for for everyone? And how is this gonna become a, a real thing that is of real support? How is this a, a real support? So they bring questions that are grounding, and they bring that stance of realness. That's time of being a, in a in a real place. This is, this is a loom. This loom is real, and we are holding the space for it. And you can come and participate on it. We will love your participation. The earth is doing the role of keeping this a safe space, and of being that nurturing and holding place. They can also be a holding place, like a, like a cave in the in the rocks, and they can be a like a canyon where the water flows. They can be a flat, flat place where the swamp, the swamp is. And that'll be the, the role of the earth is that the, the role is simply being the earth and supporting the air for communication. If the air is is getting too too airy and it's not landing any any fires, the the earth is able to to bring uh, groundness to the energy to the energy of the air to to be a more grounded something more grounded more real like this is real and this will be an initiation into your your conscious fear how do you use your fear to bring that that message that the fear is bringing that message of the realness of the physicality a message of what what can bring me harm, what can hurt me, what can like make this not possible, what can like break break the loom and break the structure of the loom, uh, what are some potential hazards, anything that can cause fear. And for me, I had a, a strange map. Uh, I had a map in my mind for a very very long time about my fear, where I thought that fear was something negative. And that was something unwanted that I didn't want it. And I, I actually thought it was evil. I thought fear was evil. And I thought fear was the, the causing of, of all pain in the world. And I had that map in my mind uh, that, that prevented me from connecting consciously from my fear and from actually not being able to assess the correctly or accurately. I wasn't able to assess accurately the, the fears that were around me. So I would get into very dangerous situations. And, and this, was, this was a change that happened for me in my initiation into my, my conscious fear that is a, a something different. That it's not something that is negative. It's something that I, I can be aware of. And that is something that is a, it's actually there all the time. And that is actually something that is part of love. That love, love. When we love, there is fear is gonna be there because there is gonna be fear of being more intimate, or fear of being hurt, or fear of uh, getting disappointed, fear of um, fear of being killed. Even uh, so, there is that like it, that risk with loving. That risk with being in love is that that there is a fear, an element of fear inside of what, what you're doing, that no matter what is gonna be there. And to me, is there is no point in ignoring it anymore. Like there is a point, a bigger point in acknowledging it and actually using it uh, to communicate, uh, to communicate how, how, uh, how I'm feeling and, and to ask my fear, what do you have for me? what what is what is there available for me so that that would be in this stage that would be the, the the stage of connecting with you i will be connecting with my fear and this will actually be scary because 
uh, all of these other people, all of these other roles, they're kind of depending on me to hold that space for the, the for the thing to con for the thing to complete for the loom to complete. If I if I if I'm not able to eat that or if I say fuck it, I, I don't want to do this, then an earth comes out of there and I don't know what will happen. It will bring a great imbalance to the loom and it will bring like a, a big challenge for the loom to complete. So the earth is actually holding a huge, huge role here. It's also like the waiting, the being material there. So it will be initiation into the earth element. <clears throat> then <clears throat> once once all of this complete, <clears throat> two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, once all of this complete, once the eight fires complete in, in this loom, I guess these are these are two different loom. Uh, once this one, this side completes, then it will go into the next stage. And the next stage is the water. I'll go from be, being that fear, 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 uh, to going to that initiation, and then to going to the next stage, which is water, the receiving, the receiver. She's there, she has been the earth, she has been the fire, she has been the, the wind, she has been the earth, and now it's time to be the water. And in the water, she's in that, that place of being, being the water, being in the flow, being her sadness, being what, 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 what makes her flow, being the cycles, being the cycles, movement, and and it's uh to me i believe that this is the the furthest element from myself right now and if we connecting with that that thing that you are sad about connecting with your own uh, sorrow inside of what 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 you did all of this for like all of that process, like you started as a fire where you brought your that passion and that purpose of life and that 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 fire and is fire and water, they're all, they're very, very close together. It's, it almost feels like it's also a purpose to to bring that 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 sadness inside of your role and your stand. And this will be the stand that you hold for for the loom. Yeah, you go passing through the, the joy, your joy, and then passing through your, your fear. And then this next step is going into your sadness. And, and from this sadness, actually pulling, pulling like the rest, the, the elements necessary, the fire is necessary. And I had a trust and trust that the ground is gonna be there. And even, even if there is a big waterfall, even if there is a big waterfall that's happening, you know that there is gonna be some air down there to catch you. That even if you're in a rain, rainfall falling all the way from the sky, that there is gonna be some air there to catch you. And it's a it's a really an act of, of trust, this loom. And I'm really this is what I'm excited about of being that being in that role and like witnessing the excitement, the excitement for me when I went into that meeting and and I met the water and I saw her, I was like, wow, you 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 gone through through a long process. You've gone through a, a long process. And she said, Yeah, and I, I asked her how many times have you done it? So it she started to count them and then she, she couldn't count them anymore. So she's actually been going through this process quite a few times. She's been in, in weaving with, with elder dream weavers that, that they rejoin. And these are people that have gone through this process many, many times. So they are, they are actual alchemists because they, they, have, they have gone through that stand. They know that if they, they, know that if they stand on their, on their role, 
inside of their loom, the loom completes and the loom, the loom happens, the loom uh, flows. And this will be to me next culture economy, alchemist training a program and experiment where we will go with, with other alchemists and this will be our way of, uh, of doing economy. And this is already happening at some extent. And so this, this loom, this way that I'm explaining it is more, is like a concise and like, like a, like a distilled, uh, a distilled formula, a distilled, um, a distilled recipe for making a, this continuous, continuous happening and continuously happening. And I, I believe I heard some, some people, I haven't actually confirmed it, but I hear, I heard that there is a way that this becomes self-sustainable self with certain number of people. Once it reaches certain number of people, it can recycle and it can be, um, it can be feeding itself. And so you actually don't need any more people to come in with that. It can continue feeding itself. And, and I, I would love to know any more about this, if anybody has information about this. And so this is what I wanted to share about Next Culture Economy and the Loom experiment. I'm very excited about this. I'm waiting to join here as a fire. Uh, the Loom where I'm wanting to join is $720. So I'm looking for $720 to join that loom. I still, if you're interested in joining, let me know. Either you can join or you can give me the money and I'll join and I'll give some report about what's happening inside there. And, and I'm, I'll do, I'm doing this research for next, for next culture, for figuring it out as a, as a researcher and also as an alchemist, how, how this is all connected and how this can really bring uh, abundance to to some places where there was uh, scarcity before i'm excited about the abundance that this can bring really excited about like how awesome it can feel to to learn to provide to learn to provide your value and and to receive to receive like that from others that that is something that is all, it's like a, it's almost a village that is running itself. So I'm very happy. To, um, I will leave some links uh, on this video where there is a, a bit more information about this. And if you have any questions or comments or ideas, or if you would like to support me, please send me a message or contact me. I will also leave my email in the video description. And if you want to hear more about next culture economy and other experiments in this realm, please sign up or register or subscribe to this channel. Thanks again, and we'll see you until next time.